what is the perfect workout program? This is a question I've been asking myself for so long. In fact, not just that, I've tested countless workout programs over my time of lifting. Some which have given me great results and some not so much. Now, realistically, there's no ultimate perfect workout program because everyone's different, different body types, different goals. However, what about a program for skinny guys with the primary goal of just gaining mass, gaining strength, gaining muscle? That's what I wanted to create. Now, I've always been skinny and like I said, I've tried tons of programs so when creating this ultimate skinny guy one i basically took the best parts out of all the different programs i've tried and combined it into this this program is for the people who don't have the best genetics who want to get strong who want to fill out their t-shirts and i think i've made a pretty good one okay i don't want to waste any more of your time this is the workout program. Take a screenshot of that, get it in your camera roll. And now I'm gonna go over everything so you know exactly what you need to do when you enter the gym on how to make the most out of the program. Trust me, you wanna stick around. Firstly, some general points. This is a three day a week full body split, having at least a day's rest per session. Now the program itself is split up into workout A and workout B. One week you'll do workout A twice and workout B just once. The next week you'll do workout B now twice and workout A once and so on and so forth. You keep changing between the two. We're using progressive overload on pretty much every exercise. This is when you gradually increase the weight, frequency, or number of repetitions in your strength training routine. But more about that later. Make sure that you have fully practiced your form on the squat, bench press, pull-ups, dips, deadlifts. Basically make sure you practice your form on all of the exercises we're doing. You're gonna be increasing the weight fast on this program. And the last thing you wanna do is screw up your form and injure yourself. Trust me here, practicing and perfecting your form for a month is a lot more efficient than being injured and out of the gym for several months. Okay, now let's go over the workout program itself. Let's first go over workout A, starting with three by five on squats. Here's how we're gonna handle progressive overload on this. So let's say for the first session, I go into the gym and I do 60 kilograms for three sets of five. The next session, I'll add 1.25 kilograms on each side, making it 62.5 kilograms and do three by five on that. The next session, another 1.25 kilograms each side, and do three by five on that new weight and just so on and so forth. Start off with a weight that's relatively heavy but you still feel comfortable at and then work up from there. Next up we have the bench press. Now this is again three by five and it's using the same logic and progressive overload as the squats. Find a comfortable but relatively heavy weight for you. Perform the three by five then the next session increase the weight by 1.25 kilos each side and do that by three by five again. The next session another 1.25 kilos each side and you're just going to do that so on and so forth. Next on the program we've got pull-ups. Three sets and on every set you go to complete failure. I know that a lot of people struggle to do a lot of pull-ups. If you're really struggling, start adding bands to the bar. These just give you a bit of extra support. However, once you're at the stage where you can do about 10 consecutive pull-ups with just your body weight, you want to start implementing progressive overload. Now to do this, you use something called a weight belt, or you can just use a backpack. Once you can do at least over 10 reps with body weight on pull-ups, add just 1.25 kilos to your weight belt. Then continue the program like normal. With the 1.25 kilos, do three sets till failure. And then when you get to the point where you can do over 10 reps on each set, add another 1.25 kilos onto the belt. And then you just keep going with that logic. Your first set could be 13 reps in until you hit failure, your second set 11 reps for example, and your third set 10 reps. As long as each set is at least 10 reps or over, that's when you increase the weight by 1.25 kilos. And if you don't get the reps, stick at the same weight you were doing that session, the next session. Next we've got dips. This is another three sets till failure exercise like the pull-ups, so just use the exact same progressive overload logic. We then finish the session off with a bit of arms, starting with barbell bicep curls, about 8 to 10 reps. Now if you're halfway through a set and you can do more than 10 reps, do it. For these end arm parts you just want to be burning out as much as physically possible building up as much lactic acid into the muscles now to finish the session off we have tricep extensions this is three sets till failure and for this all i want you to focus on is mind muscle connection feeling the burn as much as physically possible each set Okay, so now we're gonna go on to workout B. Now, let me just clarify, workout A and workout B, they're pretty similar. A lot of the exercises are the exact same. There's just one or two different ones. And the way that we use progressive overload is the exact same as well. 
but let, let me go over it quickly. Okay, so we're starting with squats again, and the method of progressive overload is the exact same from workout A. You then do incline bench for three sets of eight. Now, with incline bench press, it's kind of the same logic as the normal bench, the squats with progressive overload. However, this is three by eight, and I've done that because I want you to focus on mind muscle connection extremely hard with the incline bench. As it is three by eight and not three by five, I highly doubt you'll be able to progress weight wise as fast as the exercises which are three by five. So maybe as an example for two sessions you do 60 kilos and then on the third session you up the weight to 62.5 kilos. That's just an example, it could take you longer to progress, it could take you shorter, but yeah that's incline bench. We then do deadlift for three by five and progressive overload is the exact same as you do with the squat and the flat bench. Each session try and increase the weight by 1.25 kilos each side. We next have dips again, and you're doing the exact same method as workout A dips. You follow that with rows. Now, this can be pendle rows, it could be barbell rows, machine rows, whatever you want. This is another where I just want you to feel the contraction, feel the burn, progressive overload not being as important with this. To finish off workout B, we have arms at the end again. Barbell bicep curls, the same as workout A, but if you do want, you can change that to dumbbell bicep curls, you can change it to hammer curls, cable bicep curls, just whatever you feel it best with. And then close grip bench, three sets to eight to 10 reps. You wanna be, once again, like usual, trying to progressively overload on this. Trust me, close grip bench actually blew up my triceps. It's arguably my favorite tricep exercise. And now, just to finish off, I kinda of wanna just go on like a ramble, no editing, just kind of explaining the program just so you fully get it. This was mainly inspired by Jason Blaha's 5x5 and his 2.0 split, but there's also several other workout programs which it's inspired from. You need to remember to at least have a day's break between each session. And I'd say that the perfect time to do this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday is two rest days and you get back to it on Monday. Also, please note that these exercises aren't set in stone. This can act as just like a base for you guys. And if you want to change in, change out some exercises, then be my guest. You'd still make really good gains from that. And of course, this program is very high volume, high demanding, but you're only doing it three days a week. And you're probably wondering why only three days a week? Surely I'll make more gains doing like six days a week. Well, at this stage, when you're a beginner, you're quite skinny. No, with full body three days a week, you're technically training each muscle group three times in that week compared to let's say you did six days a week and it was a muscle group each day, also known as the bro split. The reason why the three day a week would be better than the six day a week is because with the six day a week, you'll only be training each muscle group once that week compared to the full body where you're training it three times. So three times as much training on each muscle. Yeah, um, that's the program. Let me know if you guys like it. Send me some progress pics after a couple weeks on it and just message me on Instagram or something if you're deciding to start using it. I think it's a pretty good one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and maybe also consider subscribing. And lastly, if you want to get any supplements like protein powder, creatine, pre-workout, head over to my protein, which is the first link in the description. Use my code Joe at checkout, which will save you 37% off your entire order. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it also helps me out a ton. Cheers, guys.